norias are a very important way of lifting water from a stream up to a field or into a city to provide drinking water. They were used in many parts of the world and still are today. One of the most impressive groups are the noria on the area of the Orontes River near Hama. This is an age-old technique which may extend back to the 4th century BC, and we see it even in mosaics showing the norias with people nearby. These paddle-driven water wheels can provide a very efficient gravity-driven way to move water from lower places to higher places and uh, are still being used in many places in the world today. This one shows three, uh, actually four, norias in Vietnam. Norias were equally important in medieval times and cities to provide a way to move water around and make it more accessible to people. This is a drinking water station in Zurich, about 1500 CE. Flood water farming near rivers is restricted just by gravity. You can only go downhill. But with a noria, you can raise the water to an aqueduct that can carry water for many miles and irrigate 75 hectares or more. Some of these could move up to 50,000 gallons per hour. And here you can see an illustration of what happens if you add the noria and aqueduct. You can greatly increase your farmland and make life easier and better for people. Where conditions are right, many norias have been built. And this shows the number of norias once upon the Orontes River in what is now Syria. These large water wheels could raise water quite a distance and get it into an aqueduct. And the aqueducts were very skillfully designed so they could carry water at a very low gradient for many miles. And here you can see two norias running at the same time, both supplying water to aqueducts at different levels. Here's a picture of one of the water wheels in Hama in 1930. And you can see the aqueduct is significant and would be an important part of the construction. Norias can lift water from large rivers and were used on the Yellow River in China and perhaps going back for thousands of years. One of the last most impressive uh, norias is this one in Madrid, Spain. You can see the elegance of the scoops and the firmness of the aqueduct going off to the distance. It enables you to get water above levees on a river. And they don't have to be so big. Here's a much smaller noria in Portugal. A noria in Indonesia, and you can see this is pretty spindly, but it's still raising water to a high level. They were found in Mexico, and they were even found in Los Angeles in the United States of America back in the 1850s and 60s. The same issue prevailed. You need to get water from a low river up into town for drinking water and for gardens and farms. Even smaller norias can be used. This one is, again, a historic picture from Los Angeles with a noria moving water up to a storage tank. And here's a noria up in Montana. Noria, again, rather spindly looking, but still effective in Thailand. Many of these are now abandoned. The water has been cut off by dams or other reasons, but uh, some could still be restored and put back into use. I hear some restoration work going on in Fayoum, Egypt, an area where the water wheels are still used. There are also a variety in Europe. Here are several images from Germany of different norias. And you can see uh, they're just made with wood, but they last for centuries with maintenance. During the winter, these northern ones would have to be taken down and protected from ice. Repairs are underway in Hama, quite often just to get the wheel turning, not to get it pumping water. 
but they're also being used in other parts of the world where it really is important to increase the level of water for use by people. Here we have a Gabion dam being built in Laos and then a wheel being installed and another picture of a Laotian wheel. Education is important because many engineers and designers and planners don't understand uh, what Norias can do. In 2006, the Noria El Muhammad Yaya in Hama was honored as a historic mechanical engineering landmark. Long deserved credit. And this one was built in about 1361 of the current era, so it's uh, almost a thousand years ago. And here we have a map of the world with uh, at least the Norias I've found so far. Uh, they're very widespread use historically and still a number of them are in work. For further information, here are some of the important resources, particularly the Noria or Persian wheel from 1934, but also the surprise of finding it in the Sistema Agriculturae in 1695. Thanks for your attention.